We are talking with Thomas Sims, former NASA data visualizer and designer. I created Blue Marble 3.0 in 2007, and at that time it was pretty much taking little slices of information, little ribbons of data, and making pictures out of it. I'd add a little bit of curved land over here. That's cool. Paint in some clouds over there. That's neat. Basically, Bob Ross the shit out of it. What was the turning point? I just started speculating that the images that were coming in from the moderate resolution imaging spectroradiometer was a bunch of bullshit. NASA was showing me what they wanted me to see, and then I was applying that to a globe model. So what did you do? I started watching some high altitude blimp footage, doing some simple math. The horizon is always flat no matter how high up you go. I was zooming in on boats that had apparently gone over the horizon, but with technology, it brought them right back. Looking at Chicago that's 52 miles away that should be under 1,600 feet of curvature. I took a few flights in the southern hemisphere that made no sense at all. Basically all of the things that you would do if you're trying to debunk the flat earth model. And I was like, holy crap, it's flat. Then what happened? I told NASA, I said, guys, just give me the original ribbons and I want to see the original data. And they said, oh no, that we, we trashed those. So I started snooping around the ribbon room. Guess what? In the break room trash can, I found the original ribbons. So I started piecing it back together. What did you find? This is what the Earth really looks like. You taped it back together? It is arts and crafts, but it's, it's, it has to be. It is arts and crafts, but it's, it's, it has to be. It is arts and crafts, but it's, it's, it has to be. Going up to outer space, or maybe meeting other beings from another place. Have you ever wondered what it's like on other planets? Then you watch a science show and come to believe you understand it. You feel empowered by the knowledge and you feel enlightened. Listen in the Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson. But then you wake up and you start to see the obvious. Life is just a lie, and this whole world ain't what we thought it was. NASA's missions to the moon were never completed. They just filmed them in a room, and people believe it. I used to wonder what it's like to be an astronaut. Now when I see them acting, I can't help but to laugh a lot. They give us cartoons and they claim that we live on a ball but it's flat and it's not moving or spinning at all why you lying to us man that's something that we want to know after that you're gonna have to pack up all your stuff and go